Hello everybody, uh, thought I'd make a video here uh, about my Harbor Freight greenhouse, six foot by eight foot. Uh, a little aggravating to put together, but once you get it put up, uh, it's pretty sturdy. There's a lot of wind out here right now, so I'm probably going to have a lot of wind noise in my video. But once you get it put up, it does not move, it is sturdy. I put it on uh, pretty lumber, a uh, full before post. All the way around on the bottom, on top of that, a 6 inch board, which makes a total of 10 inches, makes the greenhouse 10 inches taller. And the hardest thing is get these windows together. Took this one apart about five times, and before I got it right, but then the other one on the other side uh, went together pretty good. Uh, different adjustments, how far you can open it, it'll open a lot farther than that. Uh, it's pretty sturdy, it's been here about a year now. I have Christmas lights inside it. Uh, one video showed that he heated his greenhouse with them, but I don't think he put out that much heat. But it's powerful at night. The uh, hardest thing is this door. It's open. I finally figured it out. A lot of videos, people just put hinges on them and just open them. And then I make me a little latch to hold it shut. I just pick it up, slide it open. Uh, Planted tomato seeds January 29th. Today is February 12th, and they're up already. Doing pretty good. Uh, you may hear a fan running. I have a fan running in the back. Uh, it's uh, 70 degrees in here, and it's about 50 something outside, I guess. Uh, I got this electric heater that I heat with, uh, turn it on low. That fan back there circulates the heat, it keeps the air moving. I put the greenhouse together with uh, metal bracket. That's just a little heater there I tried. It doesn't work so good. Um, these metal brackets right here work pretty good. Put them all the way around it. I anchored it down with rebarb. I bit the rebarb and then drilled a hole in the wood and drove it in. Rebarb was three or four foot pieces. There was about six of them. There's another metal bracket. Uh, it's pretty sturdy. Uh, and these beds on the bottom last year, I had uh, spinach and some greens and uh, lettuce. There's an idea I had to heat with candles. That doesn't work. So anyway, uh, I built these tables here uh, out of wire so the sun would go through. I built another table up on top of this one. So it's up pretty close to the top. In the back, uh, a bed on the bottom plank stuff, a shelf, and then another shelf on top of that one, and that's up near the top, and this is the view of the other window, open just a little bit, uh, had an idea on another video I saw, someone takes these empty food containers, this one, uh, you can plant, uh, put dirt in it, plant seeds, and put the lid on, it's like a miniature greenhouse. For someone who doesn't have a greenhouse, you can set this in your window inside your house and keep the seeds warm, maybe grow seeds. Uh, I planted some seeds in here. I'm not sure if they're going to come up uh, out of a bush. Uh, I'm not sure if that'll work, but uh, I took red berries off a bush and planted them. I don't even know if those berries contain seeds, but I'll find out later. So anyway, this greenhouse is uh, pretty sturdy. It's worked out pretty good. Uh, I just have power running in by a drop cord, just one 10 drop cord. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's held up pretty good. There's some more views of the bracket. There's a rebar anchoring it down, and it's worked out pretty good. Uh, got a walkway coming in here, a rain barrel. I've tried to catch some water in. Uh, I haven't done much good with that yet um, so the door works pretty good um, once you figure out the frame and how it works there's a view of the door frame and all the panels have held in pretty good uh, clips hold them in a lot of people say the wind blows them out well I put screws around every panel I only took a few minutes uh, there's a view of the clips you can order extra clips, but I just put the screws in. I have plans to put clear caulking all the way around. Haven't done that yet. But 
Anyway, this lumber here, 10 inches of lumber, makes it 10 inches taller, which actually a little more than that. It's sitting on cat blocks. But it's held up pretty good. Been here about a year. Like I say, it don't move. It's pretty sturdy. But anyway, thanks for watching.